Welcome to Money and Banking Web3 class. When you have access to Blackboard, you will log in here. All of the material and all of the links to your homework and your tests are located within Blackboard. So I am in the class and I'm in the Start Here tab. Um, so in this, you will have your master syllabus and your class syllabus. So please take the time to read both of those over. Your class syllabus is virtually like your contract with, um, with me regarding this course. So it's going to show you how your grades are calculated um, and, and, and how everything is submitted and what, if there's anything required to be completed um, in order to pass this class. Um, I will just give you a rundown of what the important stuff in there is, is that you will have homework that you are going to access through um, the Cengage, which is this link here in your Start Here tab, but I'll also show you where it's at in your Lessons tab. Um, so you need to have that access code. You don't need to have the textbook. This is the textbook. We are now into the second edition, um, and that is new. But you can get it, I think, either bundled with the MyMath, my, my, excuse me, MindTap access code, or you could just get the MindTap access code or the Cengage unlimited access code. If you have multiple Cengage um, texts that you need for your classes, that's probably your cheapest way to do it. Um, then it would come with the ebook, and I'll, I'll show you where that um, is located. But so you definitely have to have those because your homework and your tests will come from um, MindTap. So you make sure you get that and get it as soon as possible. Your homework will be due every Sunday night, um, and I'll try to go into that real quick. So that's your Start Here tab. Um, as you log in, you're going to always see an announcement. So the announcement, nothing's current right now because the class hasn't isn't up and populated. But you'll log in and you'll you'll see this announcement. It'll tell you what week we're in and what's kind of you know on the on the plan for this week. So then if you go into your lessons tab, then you can mirror what week we're in. So obviously when classes start, we're going to be in week one. Um, so you'd want to go to that file folder, open it up. It gives you again a little overview, what you should read and what assignments you have for the week. And again, there will be due on that Sunday at midnight. I have a YouTube video where it's me kind of going through the chapter. Um, I feel like this textbook is, an, is, an, is a fairly easy read other than all of the graphs. Um, but so take the time to read it, then kind of watch me go through that chapter so you can key in on what the important um, concepts are. There's a chapter PowerPoint that um, is provided by the publishers that gives you a lot of detail into the chapter as well. And then here are learning objectives that tie back to, again, our um, master and class syllabus general learning objectives. Then we'll come down to the assignments folder and that you'll have to click on to open it up. There will be a discussion for each chapter. Those are not required for points, but they will provide you extra credit opportunities. So I will look through those discussion forums and for every post you make, I will give you one extra credit point up to a maximum of 10, and those will be awarded at the end of the semester. Then here you have your link to your homework. So basically how each chapter is going to be set up is you will have some multiple choice questions to answer at the end of each section um, of that particular chapter, and then you will always have the homework assignment, which is a little bit longer. Um, so each one of these are going to be worth a point and then your homework is worth seven and a half points. So then obviously this is the more important one, but it's definitely gonna take you more time. Um, so then that, and that'll be pretty much how the, each chapter is set up. Multiple choice at the end of each review, or I'm sorry, at the end of each section, and then a homework that covers the entire chapter and is pretty detailed. So then if I go back to the lessons tab again, you can kind of scan through and see each week is that way. Then when we get to a test, so like week five is a test, um, you will have a review sheet. If you take the time and, and, and like if I say define whatever or what is the meaning of this, if you take the time to map all those out, list all those definitions, um, explain the different requirements, whatever I ask for in that review sheet, you can submit it into this Dropbox 
um, and it's zero points, but I will give you extra credit points for each submission. So I'll give you five extra credit points if you do that. And then you'll have that sheet to use for your test. Your test is online. Um, I, don't, I don't say you can't use your book or your notes, so you can use whatever you want. It's going to be timed for 75 minutes. It's all multiple choice, and there's 40 questions. So you're, see, you're going to see it. it it's going to go faster than you realize. So you do want to be prepared when you sit down to take the test. And it's set to scramble. So say, um, you know, if you and another student were sitting down together, you're all going to be seeing different questions. I mean, they're going to scramble between the, between the individuals that are taking it. Um, and the nice thing that the publisher provides, and I, I put links to it, is they do flashcards for, for every chapter. So I did links to those so you can click right on them and it'll take you into the publisher site and those flashcards. And then here's the test. And again, though, that's only one submission. So you want to wait um, until you're fully ready to, to start that. So then you'll have three tests and none of your tests. I don't have any comprehensive, no comprehensive final. The last test will just be over the chapters. Um, then your other main project that you have is um, this financial institution research project. So we have some chapters in the book that I don't cover. So what I've asked you to do is to pick one of those chapters or concepts and write a research paper about it. Um, so these are our topics, the foreign exchange markets, um, thrifts, finance companies, pensions, mutual funds, investment banks, and private equity. You pick one, and then make sure you look through this list, though. This is how I'm going to award your points. So it has to be 1,200 words in length. And then if you have to cover each one of these points. If you don't cover those, you're going to lose five points. You're going to lose 15 points. Um, so, I mean, it's not a creative writing assignment. I want you to cover each one of these and have it be that length. And, and you should do it in Word. If you have a Chromebook, just make sure you save it as a PDF because I won't be able to open that file if you just leave it in your Chrome um, extension, whatever that is. So make sure it's either going to be in Word or you're going to save it over into a PDF and it should look professional. I do give you a sample project so you can look those over. And then I give you the PowerPoints for those chapters that we don't cover. Again, because you may want to look through that if that's the one that you pick. But that will not be due until um, week 10, so we've got time. But you just want to know that it's out there. So if I go back into the Start Here tab, once you have your access code, you should be able to click this link, and it will take you right into the Cengage site. So, I mean, initially, you're going to have to set up your login and put in your access code. But once you get that, um, then you'll come right in. Now, there's two different ways you can look at it. You can look at it like in this calendar view where it shows you what is due. So it's going to show you, okay, I have, I can read the book here. This is my interactive book, my ebook. And then I have my review questions that are counting for a grade, again, one point each. And then my homework. Oh, sorry, it's worth eight points. Eight points for the homework. I apologize. I said seven and a half earlier. Um, so eight points. Now, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to go another way, you can click on that icon and it will show you by chapter. <clears throat> then you'll get some, some other stuff. You'll, you'll, there'll be some activities that maybe, those are all for a grade, but they'll maybe be like some uh, uh, current articles that you might want to read through that, that are out there for you as well. Okay, so I think that that is the most important thing you need to know about the class right now. And then if you have any questions, you can message me. All of your grades are going to come. Oh, so here's the course message tab. You can use that or you could email me. Um, and then you'll have, a, you'll have your grade center. So as you do work, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> as you do work in MindTap, your grade should populate over. Just allow it a little bit of time to sync. If you ever see that it's not syncing right, please email me. But your grade should be current in the Grade Center as you're submitting your assignments. Okay, thank you and good luck.